Hello YouTube, today we're doing another circuits problem involving a Thevenin source uh, with a time varying voltage um, and an equivalent impedance. And we're looking at first to find the conjugate match load. So that is ZL. And the conjugate match load is simply the uh, conjugate of the equivalent impedance. So here's the kind of setup we have right now. We have a time varying uh, voltage and then the equivalent impedance of some components. And then the conjugate match load would simply be the another uh, components or a couple components in series um, to make an impedance there. So the match load, like I said before, is the conjugate of ZEQ. Um, that's where that's going to be I. We'll worry about that later. So there's the conjugate. So we're given 4 plus J3 as the impedance of the equivalent impedance. So the uh, conjugate of that is simply 4 minus J3. And now we're looking for the power dissipated by the load. So we're given this circuit here in the formula for cal calculating power dissipated by a load, and that's ZL specifically. We'll get to that in a minute, why that's important. Uh, is PL equals 1 half IM squared R. And IM is simply the magnitude of the current. And that can be derived from P is equal to V times I. And this is root mean squared, the IR, R, RMS down there, subscript. And we can derive where the 1 half IM squared R comes from uh, by doing, since VRMS is simply V over radical 2 and IRMS is I over radical 2, the product of that produces 1 half VI. V can be written as, I, uh, as IR by Ohm's law, and then you can combine the I's there to get 1 half I squared R, and that's how, where the formula comes from. So we'll find the current first, we'll get the magnitude of the current uh, here, so we're going to do this in phasor form. Remember uh, over here the voltage of the open circuit here. Uh, is, pardon me, uh, the voltage of the uh, time varying voltage can be written in phasor form. You simply take the magnitude of the cosine, look at the given information on the top there, uh, times the angle, which is zero in this case, so we'll have 20 radical 2 angle zero. So that's what we'll get there, 20 radical 2 angle zero. Um, and the in total impedance, this is like Ohm's law, which is ZEQ plus ZL. So like I said, where we got the VOC from, and we know ZEQ was also given as 4 plus J3, and we calculated ZL, which is simply the conjugate of the equivalent impedance, um, which was 4 minus J3. Some uh, combine terms there and we simplify, we get 5 radical 2 over 2 uh, angles 0 um, by, uh, just to let you know, the, the denominator bec uh, simplifies, I believe, is 8, and 20 radical 2 divided by 8 simplifies to 5 radical 2 over 2. And then we can set, we know that the power is dissipated through the 4 ohm resistor specifically by this load. So that means um, because we know it's a 4 ohm resistor because if you notice the impedance is 4 plus J omega and the 4 is uh, the ohm, the resistor, and the J3 could be a capacitor or an inductor. We won't get into that. But regardless... Um, the calculation, you simply use the 4 ohm resistor, and that's kind of a big thing to many people miss. So just look for just the power dissipated by that load, specifically the resistance here. And then you get the power is 25 watts. Now, another way to do this is another approach. There's always more than one way to solving a circuit's problem, so I just want to kind of set it up for you in case you saw it differently. You can use a voltage divider, and you could say, okay, I'm looking for the voltage... Uh, over the load here, so we have to make sure you do it over the load, and then over the sum of the impedances times the voltage of the open current, and then you can, I could start off for you, you should get 5 angle 36 degrees over 8. If you're unfamiliar with the shorthand notation of the angle 36 degrees, uh, that is from a previous video, um, should be a couple videos back on this playlist, and you should be able to find it. Uh, it's just a shorthand notation for phasor form. Anyway, I uh, keep multiplying or multiply by the voltage of the open current, open current, and you would also get the same answer. But you'd be using a different formula actually for power. You'd be using one half I m V m, which is the magnitude of I, magnitude of V, times cosine phi, and phi is the phase angle, and you would also get 25 watts. Okay, so part C says suppose that a purely real load of four ohms is connected to the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Calculate the power delivered. Well. If we have ZL is equal to 4, then we're going to solve for current again. Same process as before. 
We kind of did this already, except the only difference is that ZL is just 4 instead of 4 plus or 4 minus J3. Now it's just 4, so that's a big difference down there. Um, simplify um, to, oh, you should get this, right? You get 8 plus J3. So you have a real component and an imaginary component to this impedance, so you make your coordinates plane here, you have your real as your x-axis and your imaginary numbers as your y-axis. You plot the values respectively. You can calculate the angle theta by using trigonometry and you should get theta to be 20.6 degrees. And you can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the magnitude of that phasor and that is radical 73. Now you can rewrite that in phasor form here but now the numerator you just simply take the magnitude times or it, um, with the angle of 26 degrees. Now since this is representing e to the j uh, theta, um, when you're dividing phasors here you're actually going to be subtracting the degree angles so but you're going to be dividing, actually dividing the magnitude. So the division from 20 radical 2 over 70 uh, over radical 73 is simply 3.3 and 0 minus 20.6 since this is division of exponents is negative 20.6 degrees. So you use the same formula power is equal to 1 half im squared r. Remember im is the magnitude of the current which we just calculated but remember we're not going to be using the angle degree or the angle there. It's going to be using 3.3. So get 1 half 3.3 squared because it's the magnitude times the resistance 4 since that is the new um, load, the IL. So if you look back here, IL on the right there is just 4 ohms, so it's just a resistor. And then we get power is 21.9 watts, and that is our answer. Now why is this power less than the conjugate load? Well, we, if you look, the um, current is actually uh, less for the second one, which we just calculated as 3.3, compared to the first one uh, over here, which is 5 radical 2 over 2. So that is pretty much why uh, the power is less. So I hope this video helped, and good luck, and happy studying.